Oh my god, is this the right game? Oh heck yeah it is guys. Welcome to my first uh, Planet Coaster video. Oh my god, it's so weird. So yeah, today we are in Planet Coaster for the first time ever on this channel. Welcome guys. I love Planet Coaster. After playing it for just like even a little bit, I would say I probably sunk about like two, three, four hours into it recently. It is slowly becoming one of my favorites, and I just am floored with how well it works. So, one of the coasters I wanted to build was a spinning coaster, and the actual name of it, if I can just pull it up correctly over here, it's the Maurer Spinning Coaster. So, this is one of the coasters that you would find in, like, various parks, like, well, one of the ones that I rode was Crush's Coaster at Disneyland Paris, France. Um, Disneyland... Paris, France. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. So yeah, it's all themed to be like a crushed turtle shell and stuff like that. So that was the one, that was where I fell in love with this kind of coaster. And they also have different examples of that coaster, like Spinball Wizard and Alton Towers in the UK. We have the Laugh Track in Hershey Park and Winja's in Fantasia Land, Germany. It's just a really interesting coaster. So it spins. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. So you have these different pieces that like turns on spinning and turns off spinning and rotates it back to the proper orientation and i don't know it's just such a really really cool track and you can see me start to like account for all the friction and stuff like that i gotta give a big shout out to two people for this build i gotta give a shout out to trico art definitely go check out his channel i am pushing him recently i mentioned him at least three times in recording like all the audio for today Definitely do check him out. He is one of my favorite creators out there for Planet Zoo, Planet Coaster, and just general community stuff. As well as Silverette, who helped me with like the original tutorial for this coaster. Um, Sil, I love you, buddy. Thank you so much for that. It really did help out, like you know, help me to understand like the mechanisms of this coaster because it is a little bit more of a complicated one. And for my first speed build, probably wasn't the best one for me to choose, but you know, I still love it nonetheless. So yeah, these guys are really cool. Here I am just making sure it all looks nice, making sure it flows nicely. Uh, I didn't do any station work, and that's because I do kind of want to turn this into a park later down the line. Trico Art actually helped me out trying to like develop more coasters. So he is more of the brains behind like the coaster design and stuff like that. Meanwhile, I really do like the design in Planet Coaster. They have such awesome props. I gotta say, Planet Zoo needs a lot of these props. So Frontier, if you're listening, I would not mind if you ported over a lot of these within a DLC. That would actually be really awesome because you have all these awesome rocks. I mean, look at them. They look beautiful. And you have a bunch of other awesome, like, adventure scenery as well. And we're going to get into that pretty soon once we actually start to flesh it out with some theming and stuff. But for the time being, I just want to, like, decorate it with some rocks and stuff. I want to have it be, like, a little bit of a sort of, like, hidden temple kind of look to it. Nothing really too fancy. No indoor parts to this whatsoever. It's just one of my first builds now that I'm actually getting back into this game. For those of you who don't know, I actually did get like a good 30 hours into this game from before Planet Zoo even released, but I wasn't really clicking with it. So I really didn't understand the building. I didn't understand like the pieces and stuff like that. But you know, I just like recently I just have fallen in love with it. Here I am doing like the big statue that you see in the thumbnail today, but I don't know. I just really wanted to get some big pieces in here but i don't know i just really love it and like when you spin around that corner it just like orients you towards it or against it and you go right into this like kind of gate i'm not really sure yeah into this gate i don't know you'll see it when we actually get there by the way the foliage in this game can we just talk about the foliage just for a little bit it is insane how much we got screwed in Planet Zoo because we have all this beautiful foliage sitting in Planet Coaster. We have tons of new palms. We have tons of new bushes. We have all these beautiful flowers that aren't in the game and we can't have access to them just yet. So listen, Frontier, if you are listening, I would pay top dollar for you guys just to port over some Planet Coaster assets into Planet Zoo. It'd be really awesome. But nonetheless, we're talking about Planet Coaster right now. And just getting to learn like all this stuff, even though like the game is very much past its prime now, it's so fun to kind of determine like 
you know, what goes where and like how stuff affects other stuff. So you can see me working with the triggers right there and just trying to get that like gate to work. So it's probably not the best for clearance. Like you are just about to clip your head right onto that like gate. But you know what? I don't care. It's Leafs. It's Leafs theme park. I don't care. All right. You, you sign the waiver when you come in and then it's just pure chaos going forward. But I don't know. I really do love this how it all came out i do a little bit of like a water section towards there as well um and i have like two of the temple walls like that i really really love how well triggers work and i can't wait to learn how to use them so much more going forward because they are really awesome but yeah speaking more of this coaster over here i love it i just like it's such a simple design it's such a simple kind of coaster actually it's not simple it's a very like in-depth for a coaster and i can't wait to show you guys like all the coasters that trico helped me with as well he as i said before he did like all the coaster blueprints and i'm putting them into the park we have like a launch coaster we have like a wing coaster and stuff like that it's gonna be really awesome and you know what we're just gonna have it be like a hodgepodge of all different kinds of themes unfortunately i don't have all the planet coaster themes yet i'm gonna see if i could work on cd keys and try and get those for me pretty soon because i would love to have like an official planet coaster series going forward i feel like that'd be really great to have but i don't know i mean just look at these trees look at the brazil nuts i don't know i feel like these brazil nuts are so much more brighter than the other ones that we got in planet zoo and just general like foliage work in here it's a breeze i'm just so in love with how well this all came out I don't know it's just very simple nothing much happening in here but that's why i love about planet coaster like you don't need to have too many distinct very detailed scenery elements because you're going so fast in like coasters and stuff that it doesn't really matter like you're going too fast to even notice like very painstakingly detailed things so you can see me going through it right here. <laughs> I apologize. It must be getting some of you guys dizzy. It's getting me dizzy a little bit. But for the purposes of like trying to develop the ride, of course, I need to like sit down in there and just kind of like, you know, see how everything looks while riding it, while designing it. But I don't know. It's just really fun to design. I don't know. I really do love it. Ah, but yeah, here I am adding like the palms and stuff in there. I think it's coming out pretty good. They even have these like swamp trees on. Uh, oh my God. How are Estan and beyond like Estan and beyond drew not like coming up to like frontiers headquarters with pitchforks demanding for those swamp trees. They would absolutely be loving them in like beyond wolf nature preserve. And you can see, I kind of started the station over here, but you know, I kind of leave that for later just because I'm not really confident with the pieces just yet to start to do buildings. But I absolutely love the coaster design and like doing like scenery elements and stuff like that. I don't know. It's just really, really fun. And I think I do a little bit off camera as well before we actually get into like the uh, live view. So I really do hope you guys enjoy the POV at the end. It is really, really fun. I don't know. I'm just a really big fan of it. But I do a little bit of a catwalk over there. You can see I kind of incorporate that a little bit over there. Add some like rocks to cover up all that stuff. I don't know. I just really do love how well this came out. I had some fences as well. Just so you would be implied that, like, you know, staff members could walk on there. Maybe, I don't know, we can incorporate some of the animatronics later down the line. But, no, this is just, like, a simple one. So I hope you guys enjoy the POV. Enjoy the music. I'm going to have some, like, nice funky music playing. I really do thank you guys for watching. Woo! Here we go. Up here and down. Oh, my God. We start to spin. Actually, I'll commentate this for a little bit. But, yeah, you can see, like... It spins you behind you, like it spins you backwards right when you go into this tunnel and you think, oh my god, am I going to crash? I don't know. It's just a really cool part right there. But yeah, here we go with like this big stretch down here and then you curve into like the braking section over here. You just about clip your head right there, but I feel like that's fine. But nope, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next Planet Coaster video. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.